From Orange County and the campus of Chapman University, this is the Chapman Business Report. Talking residential real estate with our real estate guru, the real estate guru, Phil Lemmel, this edition of the Chapman Business Report. So for the longest time, five years, if you peg the dip, uh, you can make a lot of money using the colloquial vernacular flipping, right? And many people right. did. Still money to be made um, if, on a quick turnaround or, or the... All the low-hanging fruit is gone. I think that's the right term. All the low-hanging fruit is gone. It was a you know fix and flip market. All the investors jumped in. Some of them put together little shark funds of lots of money and flipped lots of houses, renovated them, flipped them, and that type of thing. But it's in the end of its life cycle for this time. You know, again, when there's another debacle in real estate in years ahead, we'll see it again. But it's pretty much over. There's no profit left, really. Sure, maybe just those few parts, because almost all the, the entire country... As I, I think I looked at the most recent quarter, 47 of 50 markets, values were still going up. Smaller amount. Right. So I look at these national figures. So 2013, 153,000 homes were flipped. And you're going to be buying foreclosed homes and homes where a, seller, a motivated seller, but down to 136,000. Nonetheless, still a pretty good game to be in, or pretty good fund, 36% return on investment. Right. Average of 66000 Yeah, so. I've got some friends that just did extremely well in that kind of business. And, um, you know, what, it was good for the consumer, too, because a lot of the homes that were foreclosed on were, there was the maintenance was really in tough shape. So a lot of these flippers came in and not just made them really look pretty, but also fixed a lot of the inherent problems in the home. So it was good for that first time buyer market to step into those properties. And actually flips occurred at all level, even the luxury level. You, uh, and you've been selling for almost about 40 years, um, started when you were two. Um, You sell (laughs) Los Angeles, Orange County. Compare Orange County, say, with some of the other markets in Southern California as far as its vibrancy right now and what you're seeing. And I stay very much in touch with a lot of my contemporaries up and down throughout California. You know, the Bay Area is obviously rocking it still because of all the high-tech firms and everybody up there. Does it but, come a point where just nobody can, know, can, buy, can buy a home It's unbelievable. There? That market's a market onto its own, you know. I mean, that Silicon Valley and all the millionaires it's made and sure. all the related stuff. So that's really the exception nationally of anywhere. Uh, in terms of the rest of California, L.A. has been definitely more vibrant of an economy than we have been in Orange, San Diego. And Orange and San Diego have been kind of sleepy. We've been good. We had a good run in 2012, 2013. I think even in January, sales were up year over year in Los Angeles. Yeah, but I mean, not only what, it's not just the numbers that are selling, it's the price range of those things up there that are selling. And, you know, spec buildings on 5 and 10 and 15, 20 million dollar houses, and they sell. So it's a whole, the entertainment industry up in L.A. has really created a dynamic you know, in all the other really um, service-oriented business, lawyers, doctors, and a variety sure. of things um, in well, that space. We're a much, when I'm, from when I got out here 25 years ago, much more diverse economy, certainly California-wide. I always tell people the five biggest employers maybe accepting Disney were defense contractors 25 years that's ago. That's right. Maybe one now, Boeing. Yeah. So, and that's, and that's a good thing. Um, lender requirements. I mean, so rates are low, so it's, it's which would lend itself to qualifying, right. but uh, how are the lenders treating your clients these days? They're trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in their nature. Yeah. Think of the mortgage. Well, you know, they got Simon so Legray. hammered, and they're still paying out <laughs> tens of millions and billions, actually, of dollars for all the fraud that occurred right. during the recession. But the reality is, is it's like an iceberg moving at glacier speed. It's getting better and better, and it's not as bad as it was. And it's it's reasonable today. It's still a lot stricter than the go-go days, but, you know, again, that's healthy in the long term, so, but they're they're down on volume, you know, they're down on the refi market, and then, so they're trimming right. staffs at all the big companies. I look at the, and this has been the case every year, again, since I've been here, I look at the average rent in Orange County, for instance, it's $2,100. Yeah, it's amazing. All things, which has got to, dri- uh, it's, it's got to be a driving force for home sales at some point with absolutely no tax benefit. Correct. Uh, so that's got to be a driving force for home sales. It is. It, you know, the, the dilemma is really getting the down payment for most of the people. And now we're starting to see some parents, you know, in our generation, if you want to buy a house, you went out and bought a house. Today, we're seeing more and more parents helping either with down payments or co-signing to get their kids started in houses. Because they're also so saddled in uh, student loan debt. That's true. Uh, that's true, yeah. So we, we um, 
What, what do you see, by the way, for investor demand? I mean, it was so strong, and, and that's kind of what we're talking about when we were talking about the, the, the flippers, it's investors. Right. Um, but cash buyers, still in there. Well, yeah, I mean, there's many markets, obviously, the residential market. You've got the super high-end luxury market, and basically everything in Orange County that's $3 million plus tends to go all cash. They just get a private banking letter and say, there it is, and they're liquid, and they can go. And the stock market running at an all-time high. There's just a lot of wealth, and that's concentrating more and more, of course, at the top. And But at the um, at the price point, the median price point that we're, is in Orange County, the buyers are having a hard time saving that down payment, and so we're seeing... That is the number one impediment, less than the interest rate. You forecasted, um, maybe by the end of the uh, for for 2015, Orange County, as we wrap this up, we would still maybe see a five percent increase. That's a pretty high median. Would probably get us all the way back. Still think we might see that, or maybe, maybe I think it's going to be a little softer. You know what happened is it was it stabilized in 2012, 2013. It shot up as much as 25 percent in Orange County. Right. And then so the, you know again now the investors have left the market. And back to the earlier point that there's really not a lot of investor demand. The cap rates don't make sense or the rental rates, sure. et cetera. And, and if incomes stay flat, and you're, you're really relying on the equity markets to fund yeah. home purchases. And we always make predictions here. I like to look back and see if they ever actually occurred. But I'm thinking that you know it could be as low as 3% appreciation this year in Orange County, which, again... is boring. Boring, <laughs> good for the economy, good for the consumers, and I think... Um, you know, I, I think it it will be just a normal, good, healthy year. I would think tell you that first time buyers should still get off the fence and go out and buy and try to muster up the down payment and get the loan to do it because interest rates will eventually go back up. Should to bought five years ago when, when they had the credits. Yep. Phil, Phil Omo is the real estate guru. Thanks for watching the Chapman Business Report.